All right, guys, we got an old Cat D7F here. We're gonna do some work on it this morning. Definitely wanna hang out for this one. All right, welcome to the channel. It's Clinton from CNC Equipment. We're uh, here on a beautiful December day. Got the sun rising over there. It's actually December 15th and it's like 55. I think it's supposed to get to 67 degrees today. It's kind of crazy for Indiana, but we'll, we'll take it. We're not complaining. So we've got a, a 1972 D7F Caterpillar dozer here. Picked up out of a local government. Uh, actually put a video up of me actually picking it up and hauling it in here. So if you guys want to see that, definitely go back to the channel and check that out. It's a little bit heavier than what I anticipated. I think it's weighing around 54, 55,000 pounds, something like that. So it's got uh, it's a little heavier than what I'm used to hauling. I think it's got these back backwards rippers on the back of the blade and some other stuff. But anyway, that's in another video. You guys definitely check that out. So what we're going to do today, um, we're going to go through and service it, change the engine oil and filters hydraulic transmission filters um thing has a 1998 rebuild so the government's rebuilt it uh 1998 and i think it's showing you guys can see that 30 30 hours on it so 33 i can't read it exactly those are hard to read so i don't know if you guys can see there the oil has changed at 29 hours and uh 514 of 2013 so of course it's uh december 21 now so yeah it's got a little time on it so as you can see it's been sitting more than anything so we're going to change the oil um everything works and runs fine on it. one left hand brakes a little sticky on it um about the only leak i've seen we've been running around a little bit is on this uh big old tilt cylinder here so we're going to pull this apart um repack this thing I think we can just undo this bolt here and tilt it straight up and it's got the old style V packing in it where we want it to pull it all apart but uh, we'll see when that gets over there and I noticed the tilt this cylinder here actually tilts the blade left to right and I noticed when you tilt the lever to the uh, left it's actually tilting to the right so I've got these two hoses here backwards we'll change those around when we've got this all busted apart and everything so this has the uh, 3306 six cylinder inline six cylinder cat engine those are really good engines um uses those in a lot of stuff d6s and everything um this is the earth they made two versions of them this is the earlier version the pre-combustion is what they call them so the injectors you guys can see and the injectors are actually firing into the intake runner not directly into the cylinder so that's why it's called pre-combustion or inject injection it actually has to suck the diesel um into the cylinder then fire it the later ones are called direct injection injector fired directly on top of the piston in the chamber so made them a little easier to start um and some other stuff there but we're gonna get this dude fired up you can see how clean it is like i say it's had a rebuild about 30 hours ago um it's all kinds of levers up here on these older ones so these d7fs the g-series tractors um changed a little bit this machine's 180 horsepower. The G series is 200 horsepower. Um, pretty much everything's the same other than the steering control. So on the D7F here, we've got a three speed transmission. Same thing on the G's. Um, we've got three gears, forward and reverse. It's got a regular transmission with a torque converter. So on each side of the track, you have what they call a steering clutch and a steering brake. So basically, when you pull this lever back here, it's going to kick this. We're on the left side it's going to kick the left hand track into neutral so it's still just going to free well if you're pushing dirt it's going to you know take all the power off this track and it will kind of make a gentle turn but you want to make a pivot turn you've got to pull this steering clutch out kick it neutral and then you can apply the brake pedal down here and how to make a, a pivot turn on it so same thing this one kick that in neutral and then you hit the brake you can't just hit the brake it's just going to pull the tractor down you got to kick that kick that track in neutral first the later D7Gs, they done everything in the handles right here. So you pulled that handle out, did the clutch and the brake. But on these older ones, it's a two-foot operation. 
Cock de accelerator here. Actually got a machine gun holder here. In case you want to put your gun up there. So but other than that, these things are pretty much the same civilian tractors. They got some extra stuff on it here. So we're gonna get this thing pulled in the shop. I got my special helper again today over there. He's gonna help me. We're gonna fire up. So these older older ones you gotta warm the glow plugs up on. We'll let that sit there for a few seconds. It is pretty warm today, so she should fire up. So and see what happens. got the D7 in here. Kevin's crawling underneath. He's going to drain the wall out, aren't you? No. No? You can't see what you're doing, can you? No. How about a light? No. You sound like my kid. You say no a lot. No. You see a plug of drain? Must be on the other side. Well, I, Is there a hole up there? I see a cover. Oh, you got a cover? Yep. Yeah. What is it? Three quarter? Got him some tools. Oh, my shirt. Christmas spirit. Did you just put that on for this video or what? I put it on just for you today because you see the little down. I think I should tell him about all this leaves and dirt on top of that uh, plug. Or? You're doing a good job. Uh, what is it? It's not really doing anything here. You're going. Oh, here we go. Here it's got a T bar. Yeah. I, I might warn you, there might be some leaves and pouring and debris on top some there. Some debris. Might need to loosen it more. I felt like I had it right there. Oh, oh. So we took that little cover off, and then I'll probably take a 916 wrench because he's probably not going to put it out here. And what this gutter, you ain't getting to it. <laughs> so if you back this screw out in these caterpillars, it'll let oil out the, uh, if I do it real quick, Kevin will get it all over his hand too. That's a tight one. Go ahead, put it out. I can't put it out. Oh boy. I have to put the camera out. Oh boy. All right, here we go. What do you got? Nice and steady. How's that? She's a good stream now, Bobby. She's a good stream. I'm gonna stop here. Getting a little violent. All right, we'll pop this uh, oil filter off here next. Sounds all warm and juicy. Pull this air filter out and blow it out. Oh, 
too bad. All right, while I strain, we're gonna change the engine oil filter and blow this air filter out. All right, Kevin's got the oil filter there. He's gonna stick it on. I already put the air filter in there. I'm gonna show you guys something. We've had this happen quite often here lately. This is a brand new oil filter. Right out of the box. You guys tell me what's wrong with that. No, there's nothing left in the box either. You guys can see there's no O-ring with that. And I've had that happen probably on four or five Napa filters at least. It must be more of that good COVID help, isn't that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sucks. I actually <laughs> I actually let a guy go back early in the year because of that. He put on how many filters was it? Yeah. Two filters. First one he about lost a motor in an 850. And I know it wasn't his fault there wasn't no filter on there, but that's the first thing a mechanic should look for. And he did it again, and that was about the what third time? Or three strike you're out rule, I don't know. Anyway, that was the, the end of that. So I don't care if it's missing the O-ring or not, that's something, you know, you should be lubricating that O-ring. So anyway, Kevin's got that on there. You guys let me know what you think about those O-ring issues in the comments. There's no uh, no cool stuff in here, Kevin. Uh, I already looked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get that uh, oil shut off. We'll probably do the uh, fuel filters next over here. All right, we're gonna change the two filters out, fuel filters. We got a little canister filter here. We're gonna take it off. I don't know if I've got that filter or not. We'll take this one off. We got a primer pump here to bleed them out. We'll show you guys how to do that. What you got there, Christmas cheer? I wonder what's in uh, door number one here. Something good. Something good. I'm not sure if I got this one. They gave me one that looked way too long. Looks like we may need to shut the fuel tank off. Nope. Not sure. Let me go dump that out and see what it looks like here. Take this one off. This filter's uh, eight years old. Think it's ready to be changed? Well, uh, 10, Ten year model? Yeah. We're on that fuel oil. Yeah, another one here for you too. What was in that one? Nothing? Just a little bit of thread at the bottom. Just a catch can? Yep. Okay. Put this one back on. The primer pump works on this dude. Oh, sounds like it. All right, Kevin got that little, it's just a little, uh, I guess it's just a little separator. Yeah. Catches the dirt and crap. We're gonna put that back on there. The later ones, I've actually seen like a metal strainer type filter in them. So, get that back on there. You think the fuel primer's gonna work? Oh, it always does. Always. Always. It's not gonna work because I didn't put any fuel on these probably. It's a caterpillar, it'll work, right? Yeah. 
I actually took a screw out of the side here for the bleeder. That one was sending fuel out. The bleeder screws over here on the right side of that dude. So we'll pump this up until we get good fuel running out. Hey Kevin. Kevin ran off. Where'd he go? Hard to find good help. You guys can see this old gauge here, but when I pump it up, you can see the fuel pressure coming up. I'm gonna tighten that back down. She should be all bled out. All right, so we've got um, transmission filter. I believe it's under the floorboard. Hydraulic tank filter, it's the same. We'll probably pull the suction screen filter out here too. On the transmission, check it, make sure nothing's going on there. All right, refilling the engine oil up. I think it says 20, somewhere on here. Let me see that out. It says 29 quarts, yeah, right there, 29 quarts. So we'll get that filled up, probably pump it about 28 and check it so we don't overfill it. How many more? I got Buddy the Buddy the Elf here with his Christmas ah! cheer on. Stop her about 28 and check it. It said 29 on 17. the uh, Yeah, we don't need to count up. I'm gonna go over here and pull the. Maybe loosen the bolts up on this su suction screen filter for the transmission. And a half. Let's see what kind of joy we get out of here. Oh, it's stuck in there. Maybe. We don't want that to come out. There we go. looks pretty good. I don't see anything in it. I guess it's only got 30 hours it shouldn't be, huh? As you see, that's pretty clean, right? Anything in that. So that's just a steel a steel suction filter. I'll wipe that bottom off a little bit and we'll stick her back in there. Alright, so there actually was a metal uh, or magnetic screen inside this thing, so wasn't much on it. Got it cleaned off. I'm gonna get all that put back in there. This side out, it says. Did you find the transmission filter yet? I think so. Back here. Took the wrong can off, didn't it? <laughs> Who told you to do that? What can I say? It's been a while since we worked on an old kitty cat. Find it? Nope. Got to take the pedal off. Oh, so he's looking for the transmission filter housing here. Hydraulic one should be right here, so we'll probably start taking it off next. Woo! She's got pressure on her bob. Somebody had any sense, it would have took the pressure off the tank first. Who does that? Randy's not going to be happy, is he? Nope. I feel like I might be paying for this here soon. What's that? Good. I heard it hissing pretty loud. Well. You know what? You might want to just pull that seat up and look for the filter under there. No. That might be a real easy spot to put it. No, that's not right. Huh? That's not right. <laughs> That'd make more sense, wouldn't it? It's not right at all. Have been leading you on a wild goose chase? 
I did get a new seat ordered for it too, by the way. What kind of hope is hope? Oh, it hinges up. Yeah, you pull that and the whole thing tilts up. It's like never could ever. This filter looks brand new. Is that the one? Well, you see, that's it. Yeah. Man, somebody's been leaking in a wild goose chase, ain't they? The seat's pretty nice. All right? So yeah, that'd be the transmission filter way down in there. We'll get a light. You got that light so I can see down there? So, you guys see that plate with those four bolts in it? That's a transmission filter right there. Somebody let Kevin on a wild goose chase taking all the panels off the floorboards. So it's, it's actually the exact same filter as this one. I'm sure it's probably okay too. We're going to change them out just because of the age issue. He's going to take that off. Now I got 1% battery left. Oh darn. Alright, we'll get these filters out. Did you get her there? You probably want this here pan. Look, I got a present in there for you too. Thanks. The guy at Caterpillar told me to use the same part numbers. Is that believable? No, no. It's gotta be right if he told me so, huh? They look the same or just um What brand's the metal one? Nobody. Nope. Well, he gave us two brand new kitty cat filters here, so it's got to be right. Can I use this one shop rag that we have left? I got a whole roll down there, buddy. Well, buddy, I else? just want this one. Is that going to be your stage name for the day? Sure. Christmas cheer. That one's even made in the USA. Happiness. Any of them. Let me get this train wreck out of here for you. Yes, yes, yes. You get her? You betcha. O ring's still good here. This tractor don't have any time on it since the rebuild. I think it's showing 30 hours. Just back in here. Boy, somebody made a mess. You tried to take my one paper towel? Started back in it. Are we allowed to sing Christmas carols? Uh, yeah, so you're gonna sing us a song, buddy elf? Kind of want to. Might be but... against YouTube's rules though. Yeah. I'm not sure. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna shut our video down for you singing Christmas That's carols, right. are they? There is there's no one that would do that except for Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Say, How do I record a video so I can get that banned? <laughs> <laughs> you hate Christmas, Wayne! For a side gauge on this hydraulic tank. That's what you get for working on John Deere's all the time. You see one in here? I don't see one out here. You see one? It's usually right here, isn't it? Well, that would be the huh. logical place to put it. I got you a new seat coming for that Seat's too there. Down. I got a whole new assembly. Well, we gotta figure out where to check this hydraulic oil at. Now we gotta Google where the sight plug is. What's this say? Fill, fill. Move the filler cap slowly. Yeah, we did all that. Yeah, we moved it slow. That's why there's oil everywhere. Fill it up till you see it, bub. What's well, it say up there in the dash? We'll figure it out and we'll be back here. So, from what we can tell, the uh, hydraulic oil is just supposed to be halfway up in the screen. I don't have a sight glass on these old ones. 
do is I'm going to pop out the dipstick down there. See that little round plug? There should be a spot on it for not, not running cold oil. It's double sided ones for hot oil running. Maybe not, this one side says. What's it say? Jeep jump doop dup you full add three gallons and it says cold. Check with transmission in neutral engine at low engine idle. At low idle, so we'll have to start that up and check that. Are right. we uh, ready to see if she starts? I hope it does. I did check it when I picked it up and it was okay, but it was sitting on a hill. Okay, let's do it. Ready? We got the engine oil in it. Oh, yeah. Ready to make some contact? Oh, yeah. See what's spraying? Oh, yeah. mark which is three gallons that's more than most cars hold a lot more isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get three gallons of transmission fluid and put that and top that off i think are we ready to check the uh final drives after that it's a big old three quarter inch ratchet hole i believe get right back in here we'll check the finals and keep your oil on those usually then I guess we'll uh, we need to snug the tracks up a little bit, and then we'll fix that cylinder up here. Hi, welcome to Elmo's World. <laughs> Elmo's so happy to see you. So, <laughs> say hello, Dorothy. Well, I got the plugs loose on the final drives here. <laughs> Special. <laughs> see? Have you been waiting for this moment forever? Or what? I was about to tell you. I was going to make stick an your finger video. down in there. See what that looks like. Are you going to let it run down your finger like it looks good for gear oil? Yeah. It's all full too. Why would you do that? Huh. I'm a dipped. Did you get your transmission full? You betcha, Bobby. All right. We better go check the other side. Okay. Let's go do it. That one snugged up. As long as it's to the bottom of the thread, you should be fine. Look at the sunshine, December. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. That's what we want to see. All right, what's left? Elmo usually does the happy, happy dance dance. Emma's special. Man, that sun's messing up the old camera there. So, we've got to rebuild this cylinder, and I said outside earlier those lines are backwards. We've got the engine, transmission, hydraulic finals. I think it's, we need to tighten this track up a little bit, too. I think that's about it. Oh, you know what we need to do is put some fuel conditioner in that tank, too. It's some nasty stuff. We'll dump a little fuel conditioner in there. And then uh, I think we'll be ready to uh, rebuild that cylinder. All right, so Kevin greased up the other side of the, don't pay no attention to him, the other side of the track. Okay. So about all your equipment and dozers have a little cover. Some stuff's different, but there's a grease fitting in there. And a, I guess a basically a big high dog cylinder full of grease and it shoves that front roller out. So he's gonna tighten this up. We got a little bit more sag than we'd like to see here. Usually like about an inch and a half, two inches of deflection to most. You guys can see that moving up real slow. You gotta do this as the tracks were on the machine. What do you think? Maybe a couple more pumps? Still a little bit of sag here. Let's see 
get it smoothed up here in a little spot. You can see that rusty spot right there. That'll be good, ain't it? Yeah. Pretty Perfect. much, pretty much all your stuff's fine, John Deere. Sometimes on the smaller tractors, I have them up here, like this old, you know, the old 350 over here. It's actually up front here, on there. So, check it out. antifreeze up here too. I did this when I picked it up, but I'll double check it. It's full. What we got left just that cylinder Elmo. We're gonna rebuild that cylinder next. Back into the dungeon. All right, so Kevin's taking some bolts out here. Kevin's the plan is to take these time. bolts out of here, and I'm gonna start the tractor up and actually suck that cylinder back in there. And then I think we just got to take these four bolts of this head glen and we can pop it off there and put some new seals in it. We'll probably sand it up, block it up. Just that easy, right? That's right. That's right. All right. So we got the bolts out of this here thing. So what I'm going to do, we got it blocked up under here. I'm going to start it up. I'm going to suck that rod back in, isn't that right? <laughs> we'll suck that back in, then we'll get a forklift and pick it up and get to that seal. Get you know, it. Watch. You know, why would the military put a uh, battery box right here where you get on it? That's for you. Alright, we got a strap on that. Go ahead and go up, Kevin. Can you side shift to your left a little bit? Okay. Watch these hoses. Let's go on up. Keep on going up. That's probably good enough, ain't it? Shut her off here. And put this jack on it for some extra safety. That looks safe. Safety second. Gonna go down a little bit so it's sitting on it. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Put your thumb on top of that. Keep going, Keep going a little bit more. There you go. Like that? Okay. You had to paint a Herber Freight jet. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wonder who painted it. I don't know. It's been painted more than once. I don't yeah. know. Somebody that paints things. It's coated sufficiently. You know, we've got to take this big ball off here. That doesn't look fun. Uh, I'm it. Nope. It won't turn? Nope. We need a big wrench. This is out of my jurisdiction here. I know this is three and a half inches. You got a big wrench that big? It's I not got, working. I got to adjust. All right, one. we're going to get some tools. Horn works. I won't say anything about the driver. So we can't get this ball out of the cylinder. Oh. Somebody wasn't putting out. <laughs> we was picking the whole blade up at the machine that still wasn't moving. So next plan of attack will to actually take the whole rod piston out, 
see if we can undo the nut off the back side here and take it apart that way. The long way. Hooray! You know what time it is though? Lunch time. Ooh. All right, we're gonna get something to eat. All right, so we got that dude chained up both ways. We got it stood up. Kevin's trying to make a real big mess. That looks like Taco Bell, doesn't it? That's the Taco Bell. Is that it? No, you can go to the ceiling. I need to come back down a little bit, Kevin. All right. Got her out. You did it. It's a big old nut. Right back up. You go down a little bit. So we got this. How big was this nut? Three and three quarters? Yeah. Fortunately, we didn't have a socket that big. We may have or may not have done some damage mm -hmm. if you guys can see that that's a 48 inch pipe wrench not quite the right tool but it's what we had now we gotta take this here head clamp off need some more big mats over there Everything's so heavy. There we go. There we go. That's what Here's the piece we're looking for. All of that. <laughs> for that. So that little black and orange seal is what's leaking, letting water out. This is actually a dirt wiper seal here. Just scrapes the dirt and stuff off the rod. So we're gonna get those peeled out and uh, get her put back together. Hopefully. Isn't that right? That's right. I like how this little 30 minute job turned into three days. Three, yeah, three hour job. You got these? Sure. All right, we got some, hey, there's instructions here. We got some new kitty cat seals. You want to read the instructions? Yeah. Yeah, it Put goes this down. this big seal in there. Yeah, it goes down there first. All track type tractors. <laughs> Special instructions. You got the crown? <laughs> Just about swallowed my gum. Yeah. I don't know what that said. I can't read. Okay, I got my part in. That's your side. Got them sausage fingers are working. I need a sausage press here. You gotta put the M shape in it. Well, you M gotta talk to it real, real pretty too. M didn't want to do what I told it to. So here's the old seals that come out of it. This is the main one that seals up what Kevin's putting in right now. Seals up all the oil and pressure. This orange one's basically a backup wiper ring. It's kind of old school packing. Did you get her? Yep. Oh, I should let you put this one in too. They're really cold and hard like you left them out all they are. outside. Okay. All right, we finally got those in there. I had to take the orange backup seal out, put the, uh, um, or actually take the black one out. We put the orange one in first, then the black one. Black one's a lot more flexible. One thing we got left now is a new wiper seal, wiper scraper. My super 
sweet upper frame and hammer. Installation tool here. What are you doing? Kevin's gonna rig it up. Put some grease in there, we're gonna slide her back together and get her torque wrenches back out and torque it together, right? Three days later. Three days later. We we'll be it. back. All right, we got the piston on. We got new O-rings and a backup ring on the head glane here. Uh, we got the nut torque back on there. It actually had a little dowel keeper pin in there and a the snap ring holds it all in there so it lines up and keeps from backing off. So these cylinders, basically oil comes in whichever way, front or back, and it pushes on this piston and moves it back and forth. That's how they work. So we got that all sealed up. We're going to pick it up. Kevin's over cleaning the barrel up, and we'll get that put back together. All right, Kevin's got the barrel cleaned up. We got it lubed up. He's bringing over the uh, rod. We're going to get her put back together. Alright, we got the cylinder hooked back up. You think we got the lines up the right way? That's right. See, they're backwards the first time. So we're hoping we got them switched so they're going the right way. If not, we'll probably switch them up here where it's easy. So what I'm going to do is, everything's not been easy on this tractor today. It was easy till we got to this. That's right. This is what happens every once in a while. We have happy accidents. That's right. That's <laughs> So we're going to... Uh, I'm going to go up and fire it up and Kevin's going to try to line this up. Get some bolts in here, getting the nastiness off of them. A little bit. That one's got uh, layers of grease and... Hey, you dropped it. So I'm going to go up here and fire this dude up again. got that bad boy all hooked up hopefully it don't leak no more right hey you got a christmas present back here we need some cheer after that episode <laughs> i know it may only been like two or three minutes on camera but what do you got back here itr america hopefully it's christmas lights hey it's a seat a cushion from turkey why do we make caterpillar seats in turkey what we got in here is a brand new 
see. So, if anybody needs seats for anything, sometimes we can actually get new seats. We keep some stuff in stock, John Deere seats, cushions. We get some stuff recovered. This is actually a uh, complete seat. It's supposed to fit this tractor, so we'll get it out here and see what it looks like. All right, we got a new super sweet factory Caterpillar. Well, it's not factory. Aftermarket seat, huh? I think it may be easier to unbolt the cushions because we still got a good frame yet, but we're getting ready to see. What do you think, Bob Ross? Do it right. Don't do it at all. That's right. We got our super sweet old seat out. It's all crusty. Now you got to figure out how to bolt all that crap on here, huh? What did you do? Throw the old one away? Oh, yeah. Sure. This is your side. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking this might need to go on the seat first. You betcha. What's up? Oh, I got it. It's looking in there. What do you think? Are you going to rip all the plastic off? Or are you going to fart in it? It's pretty nice. Pretty nice? For a 1972 model? This thing's a piece of junk. That's what everybody says, right? That's right. You know what you're doing. Yeah. You got too many levers up here. What's this? That's safety. Where's the horn? I'm not going to tell you where the horn's at. What's that? Well, probably the ether aid. You're probably shoving ether in it. <laughs> All right. I think that's about it other than cleaning their big old mess up. We'll get this plastic off the seat and we'll be done with this. I kind of like the plastic. It reminds me of my mom's furniture. Alright guys, we got her all service checked out, engine oil change, all uh, filters, transmissions, hydraulic, air filter cleaned out. We got our uh, tilt cylinder seal rebuilt. Got a new seat up in there. It's looking good. I do remember one thing, we do need to write the hours down those filters. I think it's got like 30 hours on it, so that would have been the hours after they rebuilt it. Total tractor's probably got, oh, I don't know. 1500 2000 hours on it's hard telling um if you guys like this kind of stuff definitely let me know this tractor is for sale you can go to our website at ccsurplus.com um we're not going to paint it right now so if somebody wants to buy it as is more than welcome to um randy's going to do a little washing get this thing touched up but this tractor is pretty much ready to go um it didn't really need too much like say you guys seen the video and seen what it was all about so these are pretty good old solid tractors. They last forever. Um, but anyway, guys like this stuff, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of Napa's filters with no gaskets. Like say, I'm sure it's just not Napa, it's everybody. So I think Napa's filters are actually Wicks. 
it's just crazy all this COVID crap and excuses but anyway it's like 60 some degrees out here today it's uh, in the middle of December so no I didn't record this super earlier and I'm just backed up but no it's actually December so like I said earlier there is a uh, video of me trucking this thing in if you guys want to go check that out definitely check out our other videos if you guys like this stuff give me a thumbs up it helps the channel out um and let me know what you thought about in the comments below so we'll catch you guys next time